S is the set of lower triangular 4x4 matrices, where a lower triangular matrix contains all zero elements above the main diagonal shown here below. So because we have zeros here above the main diagonal, this is a lower triangular matrix. Notice how this is a subset of all of the 4x4 matrices. So for this problem, we want to determine if the subset S is a subspace of the vector space containing all 4x4 matrices. To do this, we need to see if the subset satisfies the subspace axioms shown here below. Where if the subset V of Rn is a subspace of Rn, then the zero vector of Rn is in V, V is closed under addition, and V is closed under scalar multiplication. For this example, we're asked to select all of the following that are true. We first want to check to see if S is closed under vector addition, which means we need to see if we add any two lower triangular 4x4 matrices, the result is also a lower triangular 4x4 matrix. So here we have the sum of any two 4x4 lower triangular matrices. To find the sum, we add the corresponding elements, and notice how the result is a lower triangular matrix because we have zeros above the main diagonal. This verifies the subset S is closed under addition. Next, we want to check to see if S is closed under scalar multiplication. So if we let the scalar be S and multiply by any four by four lower triangular matrix, we find the product of S and every element in the matrix, which gives us the matrix here on the right. And notice how the result is a four by four lower triangular matrix, which verifies the subset S is closed under scalar multiplication. Next, we want to check to see if S is a subspace of all four by four matrices. To do this, notice how we've only checked two of the three subspace requirements. We still need to verify the zero vector, in our case, the zero matrix is in the set of lower triangular four by four matrices. Well, here is the four by four zero matrix. And because there are zeros above the main diagonal, this matrix does satisfy the requirements for a four by four lower triangular matrix, and therefore the zero matrix is in the subset S. We've met all the requirements for a subspace, and therefore S, the set of all lower triangular four by four matrices, is a subspace of the vector space containing all four by four matrices. I hope you found this helpful.